Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 14 QPR2 Beta 3. I have it on my 7 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with the build number here on the 7 Pro, it's AP11.231215.007. And now let's take a look at the new features. This build doesn't include a massive number of new features, but there are some quality of life changes. Starting with the Bluetooth tile, now it has an arrow which means when you tap on it, it will expand on the same page similar to the Wi-Fi and here you have a toggle to turn the feature on or off and as you see the card will shrink based on the information then you will have the devices, your most recent devices you can see all of them which will take you to the settings page you can also jump right away to pair a new device from the tile and I like this new animation because it's nice and slow the second change is in the system-wide search and now the lens and mic buttons are permanent so you don't need to scroll down first to get access to them and let me show you how it works on my 8 Pro running the stable version we used to have the ellipses that gives you access to the preferences which is no longer the case and for you to access the same buttons you have to scroll down first but now they appear once you access the system-wide search and the same thing applies when you access the search from the home screen as well. Change number three is under the wallpaper and the style app. When you choose this clock style, now you can see two more icons on your lock screen, one for the do not disturb and the second one for the alarm. Change number four, if you have the keyboard activated like this, for example, when you copy anything, you will get this minimized clipboard icon that when you tap on, it will expand into the full view we got this feature in one of the betas but it disappeared and thankfully it made its way back again with beta 3. Now let's move on to the settings to show you a couple more tweaks. When you go to network and the internet, sims and then tap on your currently active sim, scroll all the way down, you will see a new option here called convert to eSIM. So if you have a physical sim inside your phone now you can convert it into an eSIM without the need to contact your carrier. Uh, but unfortunately when I tap on this option it doesn't do anything at least for now so let's wait and see how it's going to work in the future. The second change is under battery and then battery usage. When you tap on any of the apps now you can see the screen time and the background time at the bottom and instead of showing under the app name like before and here's how it used to look on the stable version. And the last change is the reappearance of the software updates page under system and this is how it looks now you have the ability to check for the system update or the app updates but previously we used to have a third option for google play services which is no longer the case now let's end this video by talking about the performance and bugs i didn't experience any major issues while filming this video the device is very fast and snappy but it feels warmer and the battery drain is higher than usual which is expected after software updates so I'm gonna give it some time to see what's gonna happen. When it comes to the bugs there are a lot of fixes included in this build that you can find in the release notes. When you scroll down a bit you will see two sections one for the developer and user reported issues and the other one is called other resolved issues and the total number of fixes is huge. So I'm going to leave the link in the description in case you want to take a look at it. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 14 QPR2 Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.